The limbic system structures and disorders. The limbic system, located in the forebrain, controls functions necessary for self-preservation, meaning it deals with our emergency responses and emotions. It regulates our autonomic and endocrine function in response to emotional stimuli. The system also deals with arousal and motivation, reinforcing behaviors, as well as memory. The structures of the limbic system are as follows. The amygdala, the hypothalamus, the hippocampus, the septal area, and the cingulate cortex. The amygdala plays a role in fear, rage, and aggression. If this structure is damaged, it interferes with our ability to respond appropriately in dangerous situations. In some cases, damage can lead to irrational violence. The hypothalamus is located in the dicephalon, but it's still included in the limbic system. This structure controls vital functions such as eating, drinking, and sex. Emotion is attached to all of these functions. The hippocampus controls learning and memory. If this structure is damaged in both hemispheres, it leads to anterograde amnesia. People suffering from this syndrome have difficulty forming new long-term memories. Memories prior to the trauma are still intact, but no new memories can be encoded. The septal area is located behind the thalamus and hypothalamus, and typically related to pleasure. Without this structure, uncontrollable behaviors have been recorded. The cingulate cortex is divided into two structures, the anterior and posterior sections. The anterior controls autonomic fun functions such as decision making and emotion. The posterior cingulate cortex controls eye movements, spatial orientation, and memory. Different disorders associated with the limbic system include chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, food sensitivity, PTSD, depression, anxiety, and OCD. We're going to focus specifically on PTSD and fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a disorder characterized by pain in the muscles, tendons, joints, and other soft tissues. The long-lasting pain has an emotional effect on those who suffer from it, which we can connect to the anterior cingulate cortex, considering it controls emotion. Post-traumatic stress disorder has been associated to the limbic system because neuroscientists are disputing if the size of the hippocampus has any relation to PTSD patients, meaning if the size of their hippocampus being smaller makes them more vulnerable to the trauma. These are our sources. If you would like a copy, please let us know. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.